that I save so much money on a hostel room and Airbnb or a room, I spent all that money on eating better food. So I ate a lot of uh, Michelin, not rated restaurants, but almost Michelin rated restaurants, where it's very, it's, uh, very great reviews. I don't remember the names of it right now, but I have pictures. So my uncle would be putting the pictures in with the videos, and I take pictures. I don't really take pictures of myself eating. I just look like a fat pig. Nobody wants to see that. A lock up and with your up the drinking. Oh, and of course, everywhere I go, I'm drinking table wine or local wine. That's the cheapest, but so delicious. I don't need to drink better wine than table wine. So it could be seven euros for a carafe, half a liter. That's cheap. And I'm drinking Prosecco. It's three to five to seven euros a glass. And that's very affordable for Italy. And the food in Italy is very affordable. Um, so all the money I'm saving, um, I ate rabbit at this very beautiful hotel restaurant. So delicious, 28 euros, which is really good price compared to America. How much? 30, uh, 28 euros is like 45, 50 dollars. But that's really good because rabbit's not cheap. And it's at a really, um, really nice, um, nice uh, restaurant. So here would be over 100. I did spend around 100 because I drank maybe two or three wines that they recommended with my rabbit two espressos and maybe coffee so all that adds up so i could have had two meals but i like to drink with my uh, meal so that's um, why it gets more expensive um and i ate oh um, the shrimp lemon risotto on top of villa champion i can't pronounce it a really beautiful villa and that is a really nice hotel restaurant also and that was also very expensive um, because everything was closed. It was end of the season, I was starving. I walked up, hiked up 900 plus stairs. I have pictures of all the stairs. And I ran out of water by the time I was thirsty and hungry and all the cheaper places were closed. So I thought I'll just treat myself. But I regret eating there because the portions were too small. So a lot of like the more fancy, expensive restaurants, they give you very little food. So I'd rather eat at a family-owned restaurant and have more food, better quality food, and not I'm not very fancy eater. I just want to eat good local food. But my brother's a chef, so he likes all that high-end food. And I ate a lot of... Um... Oh, another place I ate was um, lamb, a rack of lamb. This place came highly recommended by my local Venetian um, host. And it was actually mostly Venetian. It's a higher end restaurant. A little snobby because they knew that we're Americans, so they didn't give us the best service, but not super snobby like the way Americans and other places can be. But there were short staff, two people working. I had the rack of lamb, and I made sure, I go, you make sure it's on the rare side. I want my rack of lamb to be pink in the middle. When it came out, it was fully cooked because I had pictures. They were so crowded, I don't want to put, take it back to the kitchen. A lot of people really liked my pictures with my um, beef jewelry. It's supposed to be for my hands. It's like Indianish, Middle Eastern. But I liked more beef jewelry. So I wore it all through hiking and traveling, but actually broke. I'm so hard on traveling, it, it doesn't look the same way anymore. So when you look at pictures, it was like the whole feet. Now it's only a bracelet, an anklet. Um, so I wore that mostly everywhere I went and people really liked it because it's happy. I love fake costume jewelry and when I can, I buy it. So I wore earrings, but now I'm not wearing earrings because traveling, hiking, it, it gets really heavy and I get ear infections because I buy the fake stuff, the fake cheap stuff. But I like big earrings. And someone goes, why can't you buy gold? A really good gold one. I just don't stay long enough to buy a gold earrings, and I don't want to be robbed. When I'm traveling, I don't want to be wearing gold earrings. I don't want to be wearing anything valuable because if I get robbed, then if they take my fake shit, I don't care. But if they take my gold jewelry, I might want to fight back, and that's not good. So um, this broke. I'm gonna go 
back to see if they have another one because I really liked it. It really made my um, my outfits much happier and more lively. So I got a lot of compliments on it. So I tried to take lots of pictures um, for Halloween. I wanted to wear my mask, but in Venice it was so cold. I wore two sweaters and it was like 55 or even colder degrees. So all my dresses were hard to take pictures. Let's take off my jacket because it doesn't look cute when you're wearing your jacket when you're taking pictures. So I did take some pictures, nighttime pictures. I met Louis, my couch surfing hangout friend. He has really good equipment. He used to be a photojournalist, but now he's an engineer. So shout out to Louis if you're watching this. Um, great American guy from New Jersey. We hung out. So I didn't realize he had good equipment until after we hung out. So he took some pictures, but from my phone, because his camera equipment takes a long time to set up. But later at the church, he took some nighttime pictures, panoramic, that he'll let me borrow. But the one I'm in is fuzzy, because at nighttime, if you don't stay still for three minutes, it's fuzzy. And everyone that knows me knows I can't stay still for two seconds. So I was fuzzy in all the pictures. But the next day we met up for pictures, um, naturist pictures around Venice to see what we could get. And I end up talking and hanging out and eating a lot of the time, so we didn't really take pictures until it got darker. But I think we went to alleyways and hopefully we took really good ones to see Ashley said, oh, I didn't have to stay still for three minutes. That was only for nighttime panoramic shots. So he goes, let me use my camera. So he used his camera. So we got like some pictures of lawn, other people's laundry, just the streets of Venice. Um, so I don't know how those turn out. The ones that he showed me on his camera looked really good. We have the red, the red, Low. Nice. Oh yeah, so, no, my boyfriend, I talked to my boyfriend yesterday, um, his friends, a lot of them are on Facebook, goes, does Christine own three red dresses? And I laughed and I go, no, I only have that one red dress and I keep wearing it because I, I, I brought other color dresses, but everyone wanted me to wear the red one because in Venice and in any background photo, red is just bright. So I wore red in the Duomo in Amalfi, and I took really good pictures of that. Oh, my friend's friend took really good pictures. Well, you can't see me, but you only see me a little bit. And the church ones turned out very good. And um, later in Venice, my friend also at the church goes, you should wear red. I also had white. I didn't end up wearing white, because I had my period for five days, so I didn't want anything to get red. Um, so that sucked traveling with my period because nobody wants to bleed all over the place. So I had to make sure I was close to the bathroom because I use a menstrual cup and when I'm on my period, it's very heavy now where if I don't go to the toilet in two hours, it overflows. So traveling like that is not the best, but you know, it is what it is. So I only have one dress and I bought it a few days before I was going on my trip, on sale, final sale for three US dollars. Three US dollars, my red dress. I wanted a big red dress for pictures. I would never have picked that one, but it's flowy, so I would pick a different top. But for three dollars, I'm like, I'm buying it, and it looks really good in pictures. A lot of my dresses that I wear in Italy, $3. I got lucky because I was doing yoga and close to yoga there's a Forever 21. Like a cheap high school chain. Not good quality, but cheap clothes. So I had final sell. So after yoga, I, I was the first one for the final sell. So I got all, all my sizes. And actually I could have bought more. I bought maybe like 50 or 60 items, including jewelry. Not this, this was different. Um, Jewelry was 50 cents. So maybe 50, 60 items for $110. So now I have lots of clothes. But cotton dresses I can wear on the boat. Easy cotton dresses. 
Um, I only buy ukai ukai in Philippines now. That's a new store. That's fifty cents to two dollars, but this brand new. So I have lots of clothes I didn't even bring to Italy because I had too much. And I bought sandals that I only wore one time, gold sandals. But the slippers I brought were super comfortable. I didn't want to. Um, I have one blister. But that's not really from hiking. I think I sort of gouged myself or something breaking. But, um...
on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you.